What's up guys, Brownie here coming to you with another AFK Journey video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Yeti boss and we're going to be talking about the endless mode of the Yeti boss because it's a lot different. So the main difference is really it's the health bar. There's no, you know, there's no 50% mark where as soon as you get below 50% your certain heroes that you have could be doing extra damage or just more damage and all that kind of stuff, you know, mainly Vala or Odie, those kind of heroes. So not having those heroes to use, I was trying to figure out what what's going to be my best option because I tried a few, I, I tried a bunch of different teams. I did Vala and Odie together. I did Vala and Merrily together. I did Merrily and Odie. Threw Kruger in there a bunch of times, see if he could do anything, but he would just die right away. My I don't have, there's certain heroes I have that are, I, don't, I just don't have enough copies yet, so I can't utilize them the way I would want to. So I figured out a team with the heroes I do have that worked pretty well, and uh, I just want to show you that, show you guys that. So let's take a look at the team, then we'll fight the Yeti boss and see the team in action. Let's hop into my hero resonance hall, and... The team that we're going to use, let me just put it up top here. So we'll switch her out. Uh, where's he at? Where is Rowan? There he is. Okay, so you might be thinking, like, Rowan? Why? You know, you should probably use Smokey with this team. And Smokey, the, the one problem I found was that Smokey would constantly be getting silenced before he could get his active off, and his healing was just trash. It, it it could be better once I uh, once I progress a little more in the game and my account's stronger and my my levels are higher and all that stuff. But as of now, Smokey was not able to perform the way I really needed him to to get my damage boost boosted, and I I had to choose a different hero so or a different healer. So I decided to go with Rowan because he's going to be giving me extra energy, the health potions, you know, all that stuff. You guys are you. You should be familiar with what Rowan does. <laughs> and then most of the team was relatively the same from there. Uh, Rainier, obviously, going to use Thorin because, you know, Thorin does Thorin things. He's got all, all those extra lives, and you can chain or you can link, link a hero to him and get extra damage reduction for that hero, all that kind of stuff. And then obviously the ultimate boss hero, <laughs> Merrily, she is just so good at putting out damage. She just pumps damage out left and right, and she's just, you can't really replace her, not yet at least. <laughs> I haven't found a hero that's better. Then here's where the, here's where the build differs, I guess. So I decided to go with Shakir because I couldn't use Kruger, I couldn't use Corrin because obviously they're, they're down here, they're very low level. I need more copies, and that'll eventually come. I'm going to get some epic recruitment scrolls together, and we're going to do a, a pool video here in the future. But until that happens, I'm, I'm kind of stuck with the heroes that I have. So I decided to use Shakir, and if you take a look at Shakir, we'll kind of skim through his skills a little bit. So when he does his ultimate, he morphs into a wolf and smashes a tile, knocking the enemy into the air, dealing 190 damage. And during this whole time that he's in his wolf form, he can't be affected. So he's unaffected, which means he's, he's not going to take any CCs. If we can just show it. So here, immune to all control effects. So that silence that the boss does, not going to have to worry about that with Shakir as long as he's in his wolf form. And then when he's in his form, he, he consumes 60 energy per second to maintain the wolf shape. So that's another reason why Rowan on the team is huge, because Rowan is obviously going to be feeding uh, Shakir energy constantly throughout the fight, which helps him keep up his wolf form. The other thing about the wolf form is it gives Lupine Aura, and allies within the range of Lupine Aura reduce uh, their damage taken by 20%, and they also increase 10 haste. So at the level I have it, it's 25% damage reduction and 20 haste. So every time Merrily is two tile distance from Shakir, she's going to be getting this boost, and that's that's a huge boost for her. Now the other skills he has, um, 
It's just basically a regular basic attack here. It just does damage. Um, the other one, Wolf's Will, passive. Shakir gains 25 range of defense in wolf form. He is also unaffected and gains 30 life drain. So that's just going to help him stay alive uh, and kind of allow Rowan to focus on your other heroes to keep them alive because Shakir's pretty good at doing it himself. Now, each non-summoned ally within Lupine Aura will also grant Shakir 5% attack. So that's a huge bonus there. If you, Especially if you can get a melee team built together and he's in there with all those other melee heroes, his attack's going to go through the roof. And that can be awesome. The other thing is you can throw Merrily in, into the front line by using Rainer. And that will give her the Lupine Aura attack bonus for a little while, too. And she she kind of jumps in and out, so she's getting that aura from Shakir every now and then throughout the fight. And that any time that happens, that's always good. Uh, his hero focus just gives him more damage reduction and... Uh, what's the other one? Taken further reduced... Uh, by 4% if there's at least two non some So you just get more damage reduction, really, from his hero focus. Now, the Mythic Plus part here, Shakir can cast his ultimate at 800 energy. Then, for 7 seconds, he doesn't consume any energy. So he's got his ultimate up, and he can stay in his wolf form for 7 seconds, no energy cost, and then he'll start consuming 60 energy per second to keep in wolf form. And then every time he recasts, it just you know it just keeps doing that over and over. Uh, and each each non-summoned ally in Lupine Aura can share the same bonus attack from Wolf's Will. So this is what I was talking about. How Merrily can also share in the bonus. He allow when you get him to Mythic Plus uh, and his weapon is plus ten. He shares his Lupine Aura with any any hero around him in a two tile radius or circle, whatever you want to call it. And then Shakir reduces target's vitality by 60 within 4 seconds using a third hit of Savage Claw Cleave. So just lowering the enemy's vitality. So he was a he, he seems to be a very solid hero for me to use against the Yeti boss. And really it's, you know, for my account personally, it might be a little different for your account. He might not work well at all because you don't have enough copies, for example. Or, you know, there's, there's all kinds of different things that could affect whether this team would work for you or not so so yeah let's go ahead and hop in we're gonna fight the yeti boss here quick i have an attempt left and we'll see if we can break our damage record um the last time or the last record i did was 16 something million and or yeah my my best attack was 17.9 so almost to the 18 million mark really want to get to the 20 million mark and just get these rewards done and over with <laughs> so let's go ahead and fight this guy all right so we got our heroes set up in the formation that we want and you're probably looking at this formation and thinking it's a little bit off and that's probably because i don't have merrily in here where the rainier buff is and he she's also not connected to thorin or you you might think well connect thorin to shakir and then give merrily the buff from rainier but if i do that I'm not going to be able to break the snowmen's in time. So giving all these buffs to Shakir really allows him to just demolish any snowman that the boss puts out. And even even with these buffs, he sometimes struggles. It, it all It's all dependent on timing with his active and Rowan getting an active off in time and all that kind of stuff because Rowan needs to burst the energy or increase the energy that Shakir is using. So leaving Merrily without the buffs is pretty much the best option for me. And we're gonna take a look and see at this see this fight right now. So let's go ahead and start the battle. Okay, so Shakir's gonna get thrown in. He's gonna start doing his damage. We're gonna get an active from Rowan soon, and that's gonna give Shakir his first active, and now he's in wolf form. So he's going to be doing tons of stuff. There's a snowman on the thorn, and as you can see, we just destroyed that snowman. A lot of times that snowman can just ruin a run. Just instantly ruin a run. It's it's really annoying. Uh, there's a snowman on Merrily, and we are going to chomp it down. There we go. This is why I like Shakir. Because 
at any other time, that probably would have been the end of the fight. Merrily would have died. Now she's back into snowman form. He lost his lupine orb, but he's just about to get it back, so hopefully we can kill that snowman before she dies, and we saved her just in the nick of time. Hopefully Rowan can heal her up. She is silenced. The only one not silenced is Shakir, and we just lost Merrily. That sucks. Uh, we ran out of time, so we got 17.6 million damage. Not my best hit, but as you can see, it it sort of works. It it's actually it's pretty decent, I think. Uh, you know, because for the heroes that I have, I don't have I don't have the 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 super good boss core that a, that a lot of people already have. I I need I need to do more pools. I kind of messed up my wish list, I think. So anyway. That's the that's the fight, and I hope you guys got something out of this and can, you know, maybe get to endless mode yourself. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe, and talk to you later.